Hello, everyone. Sushi restaurants are nearly as rampant as Starbucks stores. So you probably wonder why is raw fish okay to consume while raw beef, pork, and other land animals are typically not on the menu. For one thing, the parasites and bacteria that set up shop in raw animal meat are different and more dangerous than the ones you'd find in raw fish. From salmonella to parasitic E. coli to worms, flukes, and the virus hepatitis E, the creepy crawlies that may inhabit raw meat tend to be more harmful to humans than the microorganisms you'd find in raw fish. When it comes to that, it's because our bodies are more closely related to land animals than to those of fish. The way animals are slaughtered and packaged also has a lot to do with their health risks. Parasites and bacteria tend to come from an animal's guts, not its muscle. If your butcher nicks open an animal's intestines, any harmful microorganisms released could contaminate all the meat the butcher is preparing. That aside, packaged ground beef is particularly likely to house sickness causing bacteria or parasites. That's because a single package of ground beef could contain meat from dozens of cows. One contaminated animal could corrupt dozens of batches. For that reason also, you should never eat hamburger that's red or rare in the center. Whole cuts of beef are less risky because they come from a single animal, because anything harmful lives on the surface of the meat, not inside the muscle. So if you like your steak very rare, just searing the outside will likely kill anything harmful. Nevertheless, you still have to watch out for something called mechanically tenderized meat, which involves puncturing the beef with small needles or blades to make it more tender. Many restaurants and grocery stores sell meat that's undergone this process because it improves the texture of cheaper cuts, like sirloin or round. This process can force contaminants into the muscle tissue where searing the outside won't kill them. You don't see this at high-end steakhouses, but it's an issue with steaks purchased for home cooking and in some restaurants. Most of these concerns and caveats also apply to lamb, pigs, chickens, and other land animals. Though pigs and chickens tend to carry some harmful microorganisms you don't find in cows or sheep. Fish is a different story. Setting aside the differences between fish and mammals when it comes to the number, type, and frequency of potentially dangerous organisms they may harbor, fish tends not to be ground or mixed. That lowers the likelihood of a single disease-carrying salmon or tuna contaminating others. Also, any raw fish you consume at a sushi restaurant are caught in colder waters and frozen before you eat them. This kills the encysted worms and other parasites. Unfortunately, freezing doesn't kill parasitic E. coli and many of the harmful microorganisms you'd find in meat. As for the conclusion with raw fish, oysters, and other uncooked seafood, you're taking a risk, though not nearly as big a risk as eating that bloody tenderloin or tartare.